So now I'm uh, Project Christoph, and I'm now trying to do the B453 uh, individual presentation. So this is the content, and now I'll start with the introduction. So this analysis aims to study the user comment test downloaded from the um, Tinder dating app Google Play Store review in Cargo. So Tinder is basically the world uh, most popular dating app with 55 billion matches to date, and most users seek about um, a relationship in the app. So the interface is easy for users to use. So if you like the person and she also likes you, then uh, you two will swap right or press the green help button, then you two will match. But if you one of you just uh, skip the person by swapping left or press the uh, or pressing the red cross button, then you two will match. So most um so in Kaggle. Uh, so most com comment tests are left by the Tinder users who already stored the app and use it. So we, now we want to know the, how to improve the Tinder app by understanding the user feedback or comment. And now we have the two ideas or questions. So we want to know whether there are some app versions that are disliked um, or used by most users. And what do the users care about the most? So the data sets are... Uh, uh, consists of um, 48.4 gated rows and the four, for the following 10 columns. So these are the, the, the columns of the, of the data set. As some of the data columns are considered relevant information to verify hypothesis, so some of the columns are dropped at the beginning of the stage. So this is source code. And now we do the descriptive uh, statistics. So now we try to put a low part of the Python package, such as uh, NumP, Pandas, uh, Cpon, MapRubric, and PySpark. And now we use the average spark to read the data and split part of the data and put the data in the database data lake. And then we try to drop the graphic columns from the data frame. Uh, here we try to show data types to understand the data types in different columns, such as right, you know that the content has a string data type, that score has an integer data type, or the forms kind of the, had the uh, integer data type. And then we try to do the uh, missing data analysis and to know the mean, max, and also we try to know the mean, max, uh, and the mean of the data by using display function. And um, we find that there are about like 0.04% missing score data and the forms of current data in our user data set. Also, there's uh, about 0.02% missing content data in our user data set. For score, we find that like the one is the lowest score, five is the highest score. So the mean is like uh, 0.25 and the standard deviation is about 1.69. And for the forms of current, the mean is about like 2.56 and the standard deviation is about 43.65 and its range is about um, 0 to uh, 39.27 uh, is reasonable because like most forms of can can be unlimited while score has a fixed range. Um, and, and this fixed range is set by um, the Google Play Store review system. And now for the uh, now data cleaning, we try to drop rows into known values and convert the data frame into a pandas data frame. And after we drop in the rows with known values, there's no missing data. So we can you can see that like the missing data percentage is uh, equals to zero here. And now for the histogram of score feature, we try we find that the most users only give a score one to the Tinder app, and about like twenty percent of the users give score five. So it's not a normal distribution. So, uh, the, the distribution is quite extreme. And for the histogram of the review creative the uh, version feature, we, uh, we try to sort the um, uh, review creative version of of the of the histogram. So the his the distribution tends to uh, go to the uh, middle because we just sort the. Uh, review created version by SQL query, right? So, so we find that most users actually are using about like 14.2.0 uh, uh, app version. Um, and then we try to find the top content with the most forms of count by sorting uh, uh, the, the column. We find that like the, some comments have gained a thousand of thumbs up. Uh, for, let's say, for example, like the top five com comments uh, have gained uh, uh, more than or about uh, 2,000 thumbs up. And now for the data preprocessing. Um, here we try to convert the test string into numerical sentiment score and store the sentiment score of the each content in the pandas data frame so that we can compute the correlation matrix for the numerical data. And then we try to um, also uh, store the uh, data in the, in the data lake. And so here you can see the block sentiment priority as the sentiment score for, for each content. And here we try to calculate the correlation and show the correlation matrix uh, using the C-bond. So this is interpretation. 
um, according to the uh, this interpretation, we find that there's a positive uh, moderate correlation between score and block sentiment polarity, which has about like zero point five eight correlation coefficient. This represented like if one change, they will change together, uh, in the same direction. So this indicated like if uh, this uh, the recent insider comment affect how the user give the score for a Tinder app. So basically, uh, the comment is the reason. Score is the result. And now for the removal of the software, there are actually some most common words and do not add much information to the test. So they are called the, uh, the stop words. It's, uh, it's a result which try to remove the stop words such as Aender, uh, Ismar. Uh, now we do the edit analysis. Here we show the work cloud um, uh, of all tests. And now we show the top 30 frequently used the tests in the overall work cloud. We find that like the app, uh, band, Tinder, like uh, can get match use uh, other some of the frequent use the tests. And now we also try to use the, uh, to show the over or world cloud with the positive sentiment. And how we show the top 30 frequently use the tester with the positive sentiment in the over world cloud. Um, we find that there are some meaningful uh, top frequent use the tester with the positive sentiment such as love. This may indicate that, this may indicate that, that like uh, some users who give a comment may find true love in, in the app. As a result, they have a good user experience and uh, leave a, a positive comment. Uh, in the Google Play Store. And then we also try to uh, show the overall cloud with the negative sentiment. And we find that like, there are some meaningful um, top frequently used the test with the negative sentiment, such as fake and profile, et cetera, et cetera. And this may indicate, indicate that like, uh, the user who give the back comment who uh, may, may meet like lots of scammer or people who use the fake uh, photos or fake uh, profile in the Tinder app. As a result, they have a bad user experience with this Tinder app. And also we try to kind of sentiment, like some people may question like why the threshold between the positive sentiment and negative sentiment is 0 0.5. You can see here, right? The, the, it's the 0 0.5 and here's also 0 0.5 between the positive and, side and the negative. So why is that? Um, because we, we discover most comment with the 0 to 0 0.5 sentiment score are actually bad comment. Um, therefore, we try to increase the factor, but even if we try to increase the factor to 0 0.5, there are still about like 38,000 negative comments and 10,000 positive comments. So most users still feel bad about the uh, Tinder app, even we uh, increase the factor. And here we try to use the uh, best to download the Encore Web SM uh, to, to recognize the English testers. And then we uh, use the testnet uh, and the spacey to uh, show the test network because the test network is so big, so it's uh, the image is stored in the um, in the database local drive. And now we try to compute the um, uh, pos positive uh, test network. And then for the positive test, we we, we see that the content with the more with the positive sentiment which contain love word and sort them by the forms of count. Then we display the data. We find that like. Some users actually find true love uh, by using the Tinder app. For example, one user that I find true love in here. So, but actually, there are still two out of seven top comments showing like uh, finding love in the Tinder app is a wrong decision. Even we try to um, uh, filter the content um, uh, 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 and, and see the content uh, which content love word. And then for negative test, we see the content with the negative uh, sentiment which contain the fake word and sort them by funds account. And then we display the data. And then we try to calculate the similarity mean of the content with most thumbs up and fake word because uh, most users feel negative about the Tinder app, right? So we, and then we want to know how to improve the Tinder app. And then similar, and then the similarity result is uh, about like 0 0.7, 0 0.45. And we find that like the, use, the users who say fake in the comment actually may point to the same thing. For example, when you say like, oh, with, um, one user with the most I'm upset, like, oh, I keep seeing same profiles and eventually did in my account randomly. And this has a, uh, too many fake profiles. So this may in indicate that like so many users complain uh, many people using the fake profile. So the users uh, feel bad for the Tinder app. Um, so when they say fake in the comment, actually they point the same thing like, oh, so many people using the fake profiles. Um, so now I give some recommendations. So um, the first recommendation is to verify the profile pictures. Um, so authenticity should be over uh, self-delusion. 
most used to give the negative comment actually complain there are so many fake profiles, right? So in Bumble, uh, Bumble actually introduced about 100 uh, random process solution to verify whether the user's profile picture is real or not. And then the second solution is to try to encourage linking multiple social profiles to increase the user authenticity. Um, users can try to exchange the multiple social profiles such as the Tinder, uh, Facebook or Instagram as a way to vet and get a bigger picture of each other as well as to communicate and establish a, a trust level. And sincerity, most serious relationship need to build up. So this is the references. So this is the end of our presentation. Thank you.